I heard you weren't feeling well. So, I'm so glad that I got to come over and help you feel a little better. Yeah, you're not looking too hot right now. You look a little worse for wear, but I'm here to help you feel better, okay? Yeah, anything I can do to make you feel better is what I really want to do. So, I've actually come with a couple of items that I think will help you feel a little better while you're trying to nip this illness in the bud, okay? Yeah. What are friends for? Okay. So as you can see, I have some tea items prepared. But before I jump into making some tea, I would love to first set you up with a couple of items, okay? Okay. So, the first thing that I have are some little penguin socks. I hope you don't mind that they're penguins. I thought they were a little cute. But what I love about these socks are that they're just the right amount of coziness without being too warm. Sometimes when you're feeling a little under the weather, you're feeling chilly and much colder than usual. So, it's good to make sure you're feeling cozy. So, I got you some socks that won't make you too warm, but will offer the right amount of coziness. What do you think? Would you like to try them on? Okay, here you go. Okay, so next, it sounded like you might be dealing with a stuffy nose, right? So, I've brought a brand of tissues that I really love. These are puffs with lotion, and they are so comfortable on your nose and just help prevent dry skin so much better than generic tissue. It's a little more expensive, but honestly, it's worth the investment and worth your comfort. you like to take this box, I'm sure it will be really helpful and useful for you. Okay, here you go. So, the last thing I would like to do before making you some tea is taking your temperature, okay? Just want to make sure that we're not dealing with a severe fever of any kind. I go ahead and take your temperature. All right. Okay. So I brought a brand new thermometer for you. All right. So I'm just going to turn that on and then I'll hand it over to you. Okay. Here you go. Thank you. All right. We'll see what the results are. Okay, so it looks like it might be on the higher end here, but it's low manageable, so I don't think we need to worry too much at this time, okay? But 
you're gonna need some rest, okay? So I have some tea options here for you. I'll go through each of them and then you can let me know what you're most interested in, okay? Or what you're feeling. It's not too late in the day, so I think a cup of tea will be rather relaxing and they won't make you too drowsy. We want to make sure you get a good night's rest tonight, so, yeah. So, the first set of options is this green tea by Ambiance. Green tea is such a simple but robust tea. It has a lot of healing properties. It can help you feel a little bit more alert without, you know, the baggage of what, you know, coffee, caffeine might give you. Um, so, if you're feeling up for green tea, this is an option for you. But of course, it all depends on how you're feeling. So, there's that option. The next option is a caffeine-free raspberry herbal tea. Also by Ambiance. Raspberry tea. Very fruity and delicious. Okay. Next, we have a couple different options for honey, lemon, ginseng, green tea. So, one by First Street. One by ambiance. So, this might be nice because lemon and honey can be really soothing for the throat and help you um, feel a little bit better in that regard. you are feeling like your stomach needs to feel a little bit calmer, I do recommend peppermint and spearmint tea. It just helps you feel a little better. And again, a very simple tea, but very adequate and refreshing. is orange jasmine green tea. Lots of green teas for you. Orange jasmine. It says here, escape from your busy day with your favorite ambiance tea. Ambiance teas are blended using only the finest ingredients from around the world. Ambiance orange jasmine tea is a delicate blend of green tea with a sweet hint of orange and a delightful touch of jasmine. A delightful touch. What a beautiful sentence. So, that one also sounds like it'd be very refreshing. So, out of all our options, was there anything that stood out to you? That sounded appetizing. 
you want to do the honey and lemon. That makes sense. Do you want first street or ambiance? You want to do ambiance? Okay. All right then. Let's go ahead. What's really, ooh, that's very fragrant already. What's really neat about this little elephant mug that I have for you is this little place here by the head is actually where you can rest the tea bag when it's done steeping. Isn't that so cute? I got this mug, I believe, at Urban Outfitters, I think, a long time. and make you your cup of tea. All right. So, I have some hot water and I'm just going to pour that in. Okay. There we go. So, we'll let that go ahead and steep for a few minutes. Healing Ointment Advanced Therapy for Dry, Cracked, or Irritated Skin Clinically Proven to Restore Smooth, Healthy Skin And it's dermatologist recommended I love Aquaphor, it's so beneficial You can use it for really dry lips Or from just dry skin in general Anywhere really on your body for the most part And where I like to use it when I'm sick is right underneath the nose where it gets really dry from blowing your nose so while the lotion tissues are going to be so handy to use and prevent dry skin you are going to need some extra help I think and all you need to do is take a little bit of this ointment and swipe it under your nose okay let's open this up We've opened the box and this is what it looks like and it's going to be incredibly helpful for you. for you, okay? It even works for dry hands. <laughs> okay. Shall I leave this with you as well? Okay, I'll leave it here. just made you a cup of tea, but I do think it's very important that you continue to remain hydrated. And one of the beneficial things you can do is take some vitamin C, okay? Help support your immune system. 
so this is just a tangy, I mean it kind of tastes like tang to me in a way, tangy and fizzy vitamin C drink mix. nice large glass. You would like it, okay, yes. All the liquids you can possibly have is good. Of course, the good liquids. You might want to avoid soda, coffee, I know that's a hard one for me at least, and milk or dairy products, especially when you have some Congestion or stuffy nose, okay? Alright, let's go ahead and open this. Alright, and go ahead and pour it in the glass of drink is all ready for you. I'll set it aside over here for you, okay? And then you can drink it at your leisure. Here you go. Okay. So, how are you feeling so far? You're hanging in there, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, I completely understand. Hopefully some of these things will start to help. Now, the next set of items are just a couple of medications that I think might be helpful for you. Of course, I'm not a doctor. So, make sure whatever you're taking is appropriate for what you're illnesses, okay? I find some of these things can really help me, but it's really up to you, and of course, if your doctor recommends anything, okay? I know, yeah. So, firstly, um, when it comes to the daytime and you're dealing with these symptoms, Sometimes when your throat isn't feeling that great, we obviously, you know, would want to swallow some pills. Sudafed would be a great option, but there's also some cold medicine. So this is for cold, cough, and flu. It's actually for high blood pressure, so that's nice. And it's sugar-free and alcohol-free. It relieves body aches and pains, headache, fever, cough, sore throat, and chest congestion. Do you think any of those symptoms might apply? Mm, okay. Yes, it is a pain reliever, a fever reducer, and a cough suppressant. Yeah. I think when it comes to medication, for me, I'm always aware of, you know, my comfort. So, medicine really only masks these symptoms for so long. Your, your body is naturally trying to heal. 
so you know we might want to reduce that fever if possible which is always good but lots of hydration lots of rest are also as critical as taking medication and of course keeping up our nutrition all right so you know don't just rely on medication for everything um so there's this one and you can take this one in the daytime because it doesn't cause any drowsiness usually if something causes drowsiness that is generally going to you know be something you might want to take in the evening or nighttime to help you sleep okay so that is the daytime option Another option we have here, very strong, Max Maximum Strength Robitussin. This is for severe multi-symptom cough, cold, and flu, okay? This is very similar to this option, but I think this one is just like an additional strength. Sometimes these things work better than others. Um, you might have to test out different things to see if they really work for you. Okay, so that's the Robitussin Maximum Strength. And this one I don't think causes drowsiness, so you might be good to have it in the daytime. Yeah, you should be good. Okay, so that is another really good option. Now for the nighttime. NyQuil. Now, some people might have different reactions to this, so again, you really need to be mindful and always listen to your body, okay? I personally have found NyQuil, uh, especially the severe, <laughs> you know, they couldn't just make it work off the bat. They had to make them different strengths. Um, it, it is a severe cold and flu medication for headache, fever, sore throat, minor aches and pains, nasal congestion, sinus pressure. That's always a big one. I feel like that can be very uncomfortable. Sneezing, runny nose, and cough. Honestly, this is really just great for being able to sleep through the night. I find that I only really need to use this minimally. Um, one time I thought I was getting really sick and I took it that evening and the next day it was like totally fine. Um, I think that was just like a weird short to cold, but I would say your rest is really important. So anything that can kind of help you fall asleep in a reasonable way is something I would at least try out if possible. Okay. does cause drowsiness, so just be aware of that. All right. Next, I have a couple of throat sprays. These are meant to soothe a sore throat and offer pain relief for a really bad sore throat. So um, when we talked, it didn't sound like that was a huge symptom just yet, but if it becomes something worse, I recommend trying this out if you're in a lot of pain and discomfort. So the first option we have is Mucinex. And this is a for sore throat and pain relief. It's alcohol free. It numbs pain fast. And it's in a cherry flavor spray. Okay. So that is option number one. Option number two is chloroseptic, sore throat, and it's fast-acting pain relief and numbs the throat in seconds. So of course, again, medications are really just numbing the pain so that you can get through the illness in more comfort, um, they're kind of like tricking your brain. <laughs> so, you know, do it when you absolutely need to and when the pain is unbearable, you know? But I'll leave these with you on hand just in case you might need them, okay? Okay. Another option is just your 
general pain reliever acetaminophen. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's a good um, pill option for fever reducing. So again, if your fever gets consistent and high, you might want to try to get it down a little bit, okay? Okay. Finally, in terms of items, medication-wise or other, you can take to relieve pain. I have some cough drops. We have some by Halls. This is menthol cough suppressant. They, it's cough drops, of course. Relieves coughs and soothes sore throats. It's honey lemon flavor. These are incredibly helpful when dealing with severe discomfort due to a cough. Yeah, I can kind of keep your cough at bay, you know. Now, one thing that I feel some people don't really know about is that they kind of recommend you do one drop every two hours or um, wait at least two hours to take the next cough. So, it's not exactly candy, <laughs> although, you know, do what you need to do, but make sure you're aware. Um, so, that's what they look like. I'll leave a couple with you. A honey lemon. And then over here, have some Ricola. And these are naturally soothing relief that lasts from Switzerland. Cherry honey herb throat drops. as a young child, thinking I was going to get some kind of sour, sweet candy, I was actually <laughs> getting like a menthol candy. And I remember being so repulsed by it. Um, but I guess serves me right for not really checking it. I think she, I don't know that she realized they were there. I don't know. But I Needless to say, I avoided having candy at her house. Moving on. She meant well. I just don't think she might have realized. Okay, so. Are you all good with these? I'll leave the bags with you just in case, but maybe you have these for now. for you to relax with. I understand you have books and TV already 
at the ready. Sometimes I feel like my brain, when I'm sick, has a hard time trying to comprehend words on a page or even just while watching TV. Sometimes I just want it sort of in the background and um, it's nice to feel like I can do something with my hands and make something cozy, comforting. Nothing too technical, right? So obviously video games could be fun. That might be a little hard as well depending on your stamina and your brain power. But I thought I would bring over a coloring book and some coloring pencils to help you pass the time with your favorite TV shows running in the background. Do you like to watch anything in particular? Oh, that's nice. Sounds interesting. Hmm. What do I like? I like The Great British Bake Off. I love watching that in the background. I haven't caught up on recent seasons, but I'm looking forward to binge watching it soon. Um, hopefully I don't get sick for that, but yeah, I think while you're watching your favorite show or a show, you just kind of want to mindlessly check in on. Sometimes reality TV is a good option, um, because you don't need to like totally pay attention to the content. I like to, um, personally, I like to do embroidery. That's always fun for me. That's kind of my little hobby in front of the TV right now. Um, but I thought a coloring book might be fun for you. What do you think? You like it? Okay, great. Yes, so it is actually a, it's called the Ultimate Coloring Book of Mandalas. Free your mind and relax. It's meant to be a relaxing activity. I'm not sure this might be relaxing for everyone, but I think for you, it's quite fitting, yes. Oh, perfect. So, I've got these 10 colored pencils for you. And I know it's not the most wide array of colors, but I'm sure it will be fine nonetheless. And then we can go ahead and check out a couple. What do you think? Okay. Oh, looks like you can tear off the pages. little quotes as well. Off to the side. So we have the mandala here. I wonder if there's been any studies on the relaxation of mandalas. I'm sure there has been some done. There's some history behind their uses, of course. I'm not privy on the details of that, but I know that they've helped a lot of people be very creative and help them concentrate or relax. There has to be some brain science behind this. You know? be something out there. Okay. This one's like more detailed. Like, or I'd say they're all very detailed. This one's just a thicker line. Some of them are like lighter colors on the page. Some have thin lines or thicker lines. This one literally takes the whole page. 
feel like this one would be very easy for you to color because there's a lot of black ink already. So, it would be just a matter of filling in the blanks. You know. This one's really pretty. I like this one a lot. Yeah, they're all so unique. I'm not, I'm not sure I could make my own. I'm sure I could. I feel like I'd mess up. Like this one is so detailed. This one's really beautiful. I like this one. I wonder why they added color in the middle though. Kind of defeats the purpose of you being able to color it in. I hope this has been helpful for you so far. Do you feel like everything I've provided today is going to help you feel at least a teeny bit better? You think so? It's all good to hear because I really want to make sure that you feel your absolute best. Okay? If there's anything you need, anything at all, please don't hesitate to let me know and I will come to your aid. Absolutely. I'm here for you. Okay, well, stay hydrated, get lots of rest, try to relax. Yeah, you'll be feeling better in no time. Well, I think I'll let you get back to your rest and relaxation. And thank you so much for having me over. I'll check on you again soon, okay?